And this is a CAT scan now, again, showing hyperdense or bright material here, concerning for blood. <clears throat> now, in adults, um, you know, hypertension is a very common cause of bleeding. We would call this an intraparenchymal hemorrhage, meaning within the brain tissue, intra inside parenchyma, meaning the brain tissue. And in children, this was the case of a 21-year-old who came in with very severe headache. In kids, you know, usually they don't have hypertension and their blood vessels um, you know, are relatively healthy. So anytime you have a pediatric patient with an intraparenchymal hemorrhage, you should always think about a vascular malformation. So one possibility is an arteriovenous malformation, abbreviated AVM. So this is a, um, you know, thought to mostly be congenital. And what happens is usually arteries will go flow into capillaries where the arterial pressure gets dissipated by the multiple capillaries. And then they coalesce again to form veins to drain the blood. In an AVM, the artery runs directly into the vein without any intervening capillaries. So you could imagine all the arterial pressure is now being absorbed by this vein that really wasn't built to absorb it. And you could have rupture of those vessels and, and a bleed like this. So to, to work this up further, um, a child with an intraparenchymal hemorrhage, at least a CTA should be performed. That was done here. So with CTA, CAT scan with the A standing for angiogram, just um, better shows the blood vessels by using a contrast agent. And you can see here this kind of enlarged vessel right next to the area of the bleed with this dot here. So really the gold standard for this is to perform an angiogram. And you know, this could be a lecture of for neuroradiology in and of itself angiograms, but basically um, you'll gain access either in the, in the groin or the ex one of the extremities, in the upper extremities sometimes now, thread a catheter up through the blood vessels, passing through the heart and further up towards the brain, in this case up the internal carotid artery. And then we see here that along the anterior cerebral artery, we see this early draining vein and this is really a key uh, feature of an arterial venous malformation that, you know, usually the blood should go through capillaries. We don't see the veins right away, but because there's no intervening capillary bed, the vein lights up much earlier in what's called the arterial phase. This little cluster or tangle of vessels is called menitis. So these are important features to think about, the size of the lesion, the, the venous drainage, and also um, where it's located, if it's an eloquent cortex, meaning parts of the brain that if you injure, the patient won't have a devastating injury such as language problems or weakness. This is a reconstruction here. You can see this tangle of abnormal blood vessels. So an AVM that's bled should be treated. And in that patient, we did a craniotomy and removed the AVM. Nice thing about these is if, if they're all taken out, that could be a cure for the patient. And that way reduce the risk of this bleeding, you know, over the patient's lifetime. everyone, Ryan Rad here from neurosurgerytraining.org. If you like that video, subscribe and donate to keep our content available for medical students across the world.